let me read the scripture revelation chapter 4 <coughs> revelation chapter 4 after this i looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which i heard was it were of a trumpet talk, talking with me which said come up hither and if i will show the things which must be hereafter and immediately i was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he that sat on the a uh, sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow round about the throne in in sight like unto an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats i saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and they had on their heads crown of gold and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of god and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto a crystal and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beast full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf and the third beast had a face of a man and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him and they were full of eyes within and they rest not day and night saying holy 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 lord god almighty which was and is and is to come and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and rest the and uh, and cast their crowns before the throne saying thou art worthy o lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created may the lord add this word blessing upon this word my precious brethren and sisters nowadays there are many kinds of voices of the devil proceeding from the hell so one of the voices i heard that uh, <clears throat> the same jesse smith uh, he published on youtube that uh, he is asking the question he is saying not asking the question he is saying uh, revelation chapter 4 the bride is in the revelation chapter 4 the bride is in the revelation chapter 4 and he mean to say that uh, uh, the bride because he he is uh, uh, you know confusing the people around the world he is confusing the people around the world saying that uh, you know is especially he is bringing out and pointing out some somewhere brother banam says that it may be a numerical orders all those things we are not going after the numerical or anything so we are going after the message of william banam what brother banam said 
You see, many times Brother Banham speaks of, sometimes he said, uh, it's a 700 man, they did not bow themselves before the Baal. Before the Baal. He says, 700 men, he says. But the Bible says, 7,000 men, he says. You see, and the same Brother Banham says, sometimes, you know, he said that, don't take me. What is there in the Bible that you believe that? See, sometimes he make kinds of error. And one place, Brother Banham says, three and a half years for remaining for the tribulation period of time. Three and a half. And, 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 and one place, he says, seven full years, he says. That means uh, uh, the last week, that with the 70 weeks of the Daniel, Brother Banham says, seven, seven years, seven full years, he says. So, so, that there is sometimes, uh, you know, uh, typographical mistake. Sometimes he speaks in that way. We cannot take it as granted what Brother Banham said in many places and quoting and quoting and quoting like this, uh, uh, you know, intellectual giant is quoting. This man is an intellectual giant. He is confusing the people and, uh, you know, bringing different statements of Brother Banham. And quoting different uh, messages and uh, audio clips, he is uh, attached in his YouTube, and uh, you know he bringing the, you know he makes the people so confused and so confused that you should not believe the message of William Branham. That is what what his intention, are, uh, uh, you know, and we 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 expose this fellow. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, be exposed by the Holy Spirit, by the help of the Holy Spirit. You see, the bride is, uh, uh, the fourth chapter of the Revelation, bride is, he says. So bride is everywhere in the Bible. From the Genesis to whole Revelation, you can see Christ and bride, Christ and bride. Not only in the Revelation chapter 4. You know, you see, just I am telling you, just I, 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 I want to tell you, if there is a Christ, Brother Branham says, everywhere the Christ is there. If there is a Christ, bride ought to be there with the Christ. Understand? Uh, well, oh yes, in the form of theophany or whatsoever. So you can't say the whole Bible is for the bride. From the Genesis to Revelation, whole Bible is for the bride. You no need to say this place only the bride, this place from this bride, here and there. He don't understand the message of Philem Branham. He is uh, infidel and he do not understand the message. I can prove to you. <coughs> I don't need to go and dig and dig and bring many thousands of quotations and, uh, and attaching the audio clips of Villa Branham and proving and proving. No, 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 no. I am doing in a very simple way. Very simple way. Let everyone should understand what Brother Branham mean to say about the Revelation chapter 4. Oh yes, sir, let me... Let me read those things, sir. That is why the, you can understand it very well. So, my precious brothers and sisters, yeah, let me read this way because this is very important. We, I am not doing like him, you know, uh, re reading and reading the quotations and uh, what Brother Banham said and digging and digging. No, I, I don't want to say he, he says that he is the bread of Christ in, in the chapter Revelation 4. So that question, question he put that that to me he mean to say even the bread of Christ is in the Revelation four. I tell you not only in the Revelation chapter four the bride is everywhere in the Bible uh, you can see the bride. Oh yes, you can see the bride, the true bride of Christ. If there is a Christ, there must be a bride of Christ. Should be there. Okay, that is what I mean to say. I, I want to tell you. So I, I, I am I, I, I am faithfully saying these kinds of things. But when when we come to the uh, Bible, the biblical interpretation, Bible interpretation, the right interpretation of the Bible, let everything should be come to the light. So you cannot say that here is the bread. You cannot say in the sixth seal bread is there. Sixth seal is a judgment. Uh, and one to four seals he, he, he is the Antichrist. Fifth seal is for the Jews. And seventh seal you can see the bride because seventh seal is for the bride. You know, likewise. Likewise, I'm just, I'm telling you. In the similarly, you know, that when we talk about, you know, uh, you know, seven candlestick and seven church ages, Christ walking in the seven church ages. Do you know that seven church ages, they are, they are also brides, these martyrs are the bride, they are taking their time in the grave and they are the bride. 
Everyone is a bride. Seven church ages, those martyr and those who have died under the different, different messengers, they are the bride. They are the bride. <laughs> All right. Now, now this is Revelation chapter 4 is the whole picture. It is a judgment picture. Do you know, Mr. Jesse? It's a judgment picture. The whole Revelation chapter 4 is a judgment picture. Now my question to you, how the bride comes under the judgment? How the bride comes under the judgment scene? You know, you, you say that, you know, the, actually you say that the bride is in the uh, fourth chapter of Revelation. My, my direct question to you, that is the judgment picture. Because thunderings and lightnings proceeded out, of the, uh, out from the throne. And that, that is a scene of the judgment. If the judgment, if that is a scene of the judgment, I, I, you, you are a foolish fellow to tell us that... There, the bride is there. Never, cannot be. It's impossible. The bride will be under the judgment. That is those who are pruned the uh, mercy, who pruned the mercy, who rejected the mercy. And after the rejecting the mercy, there comes under the judgment. That is a judgment scene in Revelation chapter 4. Now let me read one by one quotations. And uh, I will prove that, uh, I will prove this is you are one of the heresies, you know, you are a heretic. So we don't leave you, okay, we don't leave you, don't, don't think that, you know. Now, I just want to read the quotations uh, here, uh, where Brother Branham, what, see, the, the, what is important, what is the things important for us, the Bible and the William Branham's message. What the Bible and William Branham's message. So let me read the Brother Branham's message. <coughs> now I quote. Now these cannot be them souls because the souls of the righteous martyred and the righteous people, the church, the bride has done being took up. So they wouldn't be under the altar, they would be in glory with the bride. Now watch, for they are gone in the rapture. They are gone in the rapture. In the fourth chapter of Revelation, unquote, in the fourth chapter of the Revelation, they are gone. There is no bride on the earth. Oh yes, sir. they were taken up now. Who are these souls? That is the next thing. Who are they? Then they are not the early church. This is Israel that is to be saved as a nation, all of them that are predestinated. That is Israel, that is Israel itself. You say, oh, wait a minute. Uh, you say they can't. All right. That is, I have taken from the fifth seal, 1963. Fifth seal, 1963. Yes. During the opening of the seals, Brother Branham preached, and you know, you, do you know that the opening of the seals is Brother Branham preached? There is no error Brother Branham can do. Nothing, no error whatsoever he said, because it's a great revelation. Opening of the seals is a great revelation. All right, another quotation I would like to read. Now, remember, after the fourth chapter of, after the fourth chapter of revelation, the church is gone. After the fourth horse riders has went out the church is gone everything that happened to the church happened to happened up to the fourth chapter of the book of revelation everything that happened in the antichrist move went up to the fourth chapter and the fourth seal revelation both antichrist and christ ended up the antichrist comes to his doom with his army uh, it is an old battle that started way back beyond time and then they Satan was the uh, angels was kicked out and then they come to the earth and the battle set again uh, in action uh, sorry ba battle set, set again oh, all right <clears throat> Because Eve broke down the barrier from where she was isolated behind the word of God. And from that very hour, Satan won the battle over God's word because one of his subjects, the, the weaker, let down the bar. This fourth, uh, so remember, fourth chapter of Revelation, the church is gone. Yeah, the church won't be there. Fourth chapter of the Revelation, church won't be there. Church, the bride cannot be there. She is raptured. 
So clear cut understanding is the seventh seal. Brother Branham said the seventh seal. See fourth chapter of after the four horse rider. Again he says four horse rider. That means he is quoting, he is speaking about the four four uh, fourth seal. So here comes both together. Now fourth horse uh, uh, also coming for after fourth horse rider and uh, uh, and. Uh, and he says about the fourth chapter of the revelation. See, you, you, you know, nobody can be confused. Here clearly says fourth chapter of the revelation. Now coming down, he says, and after four horse riders has went out. That means it is the four seals. Fourth seal. See, we know that first, second, third and fourth seals are the Antichrist. That after that is over. Uh, 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 then uh, the church is gone, he says. Uh, uh, everything that happened to the church happened up to the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation. Everything happened. Means he is quoting, he is saying up to the fourth chapter of the Revelation, everything happened. Means churches. Now here we see after the hereafter. Hereafter means after the church ages. Hereafter, after the church ages. And Lord, uh, and Lord, uh, you know, he said that there was a do, that there was a door opened. There was a door opened. Yes, and you know who is door? The, 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 the door is Lord Jesus Christ after in the heaven, and he said, "Come up, hither." He called John, "Come up, hither." You know, uh, you, you, you see that that doesn't mean that is John is going. Because it is just showing you. Okay, and you know it is just showing you what Brother Branham said. It is right. The bride is raptured at Revelation chapter four. Bride will not be there on the earth. So, Brother Branham is right. You are wrong. Your interpretation is wrong. You don't know the message. You don't know anything. Your interpretation is really wrong, and you can't interpret in in your way. Of interpretation and that is the heresy you are confusing the people fourth chapter of the revelation you know that book you know what brother Branham said is right even in the seventh seal I am quoting the seventh seal all right you you like to debate with me I will I will defeat you you know uh, within an hour within a minute I don't go for hour also so my dear brothers and sisters, don't listen to this man. He is making some confusion to the people where people should be confused and leave the message. So many people left the message because of this fellow. This fellow confusing the people in such a manner and uh, they should believe the, his lie. Now, another quotation I am reading. Now, yeah, the this is the uh, all right. This is Brother Branham preached the message uh, uh, the, that uh, uh, about the Revelation chapter four. Now, in this message, I would like to read it. The directly. I will take the message of Brother Branham's Revelation chapter four. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up either, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. We are going to take it verse by verse, and I got a lot of scriptures, wrote down here a book of them, and I don't know how far we will get into it. May the Lord lead us. Now watch, the word is, after these things, after the church age, and all this from hereafter, now will be pertaining, will take place on earth after the rapture of the church after the listen after the rapture of the church see after the rapture this is going back now to pick up israel after the church age after the ages of the church and the church never appears again until revelation the 19th chapter then the then she returns with her bridegroom amen Exactly, exactly what Brother Branham says is right. Until the chapter 19, he, that church will never, okay, you, you know, church is taken up. In, uh, you know, Revelation chapter 4, church is taken because the whole scene of the Revelation chapter 4 is the judgment scene. All right. Ah, Revelation chapter 4. Now I am coming to here. One more quote, quotation. 
Now, I have begun to notice at the preaching of the seven church ages, which is the pattern or the forecast of all that God was going to do for the churches. And though the churches and positionally setting them up, the first three chapters of the book of Revelation reveals all the things unto the church. Then from the third chapter unto the 90th chapter of Revelation, there is no more scene of the church. Uh -huh. The church goes up at the fourth chapter of Revelation and returns back at the 19th chapter of the Revelations, the bride and the groom together coming to the earth. And then from the 19th chapter to the conclusive of 22nd chapter, it is all on the millennium and that will be in the, in the years that is to follow during the 4th to the 19th. One more time. During the 4th to the 19th, God is dealing with Israel. Huh? God is dealing with Israel. This is Feast of the Trumpets, 1964. Unquote. Uh, during the uh, na, du, during during the fourth to the nineteenth, uh, God is dealing with Israel. So when so it is exactly what Brother Branham says. Brother Branham is right. You are wrong. Your interpretation is wrong. You cannot bring other quotes and where Brother Branham says and you are not quoting also, you are not, not saying which message from where you are taken. You are just playing the, uh, you know, the audio clips of Brother Branham in different, different time and you know, you are, you are proving, you, you prove. Yeah, that means you mean to say the bride is there in the Revelation chapter 4 then throughout 19th chapter. So my, my place is Brethren, of course Revelation 10 is for the bride. Uh, and, and, and the opening of the seals, uh, uh, there you can see Revelation chapter 8, you can, but what Brother Branham mean to say, you cannot see the bride, you know, those are the scriptures, those are the chapters, you know, pertaining to the bride, how bride will going to get, and seven thunder, and opening of the seals, uh, is for the bride, but what William Branham me, mean to say is the activities of the church age is finished at the church age when the over, uh, the time is no more that angel of the Lord in Revelation 10 1 he says time is no more the time of the Gentile church is no more in another word the church age is finished and he says soon after that eternity has broken uh, and you know broke open eternity if i say eternity it is called the bride age eternity we are going back to eternity so we are no more on the earth we are entered into the eternity all right that is eternity we are entered the bride entered into the eternity there is no more activities of the bride in another word the bride everything will will be there after after the uh, you know uh, uh, after the revival will break open the few months bread will be on that then bread will be raptured so when when you say that the, you cannot put the bride under the judgment because the fourth seal is a judgment scene and you cannot bring the bride over into the judgment you cannot bring the bride over into the revelation chapter 6 uh, yes where that where there is a sixth seal you know, you cannot bring the bride to the sixth seal or under the altar, fifth seal. You cannot, you cannot see the bride over there. See, but you know, somewhere, 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 you can see because, and even you cannot see. Now, seventh seal is opened. Now, numerical order. If you take from the first to the seventh seal, so that means seventh seal open means oh, bride will undergo the judgment. Bride will undergo the uh, altar of the uh, alt, alt, uh, souls under the altar. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it will. Not it is not possible. Bride cannot touch the fifth seal, even the sixth seal. Bride, so therefore you bring the seventh seal in between fourth and the fifth seal. You can do that. You bring in between the fourth and the fifth seal. There, the seventh seal you can see. So that is the wisdom. That is the revelation, my friend. So you cannot go on your own way and using your intellectualism. No, no. Understand. So therefore, what Brother Branham said, that is right. You are wrong. All right, you you cannot. You, we don't want the secondary interpretation, and uh, you are wise of the devil. Yes, yes. Praise be the name of the Lord. 
Now, I would like to read here. All right. Uh, yes. All these quotations I quoted. Now, I, wa I would like to read. Yes, one more. This one. Okay. Seventh seal. All right. Now, I am going to read. Seventh seal. Fourth chapter. All right. Yes. Now, I have begun to notice at the preaching of the seven church ages, which is the pattern or the forecast of all that God was going to do for the churches and through the churches and positionally setting them up, the first three chapters of the book of Revelation reveals all the happenings unto the church. Then from the third chapter unto the 19th chapter of Revelation, there is no more scene of the church. The church goes up at the 4th chapter of Revelations and returns back at the 19th chapter of Revelations. Uh, the bride and the groom together coming, the, uh, coming to the earth and then from the 19th chapter to the conclusive of the 22nd chapter it is all on the millennium and that will be in the years that is to follow during the uh, 4th to the 19th uh, of God is dealing with Israel. That is uh, already read, but again I am reading. Now find out. Now another quotation. Now find out that revelation is blocked off in three parts. Brother Branham, it is. The revelation is blocked off in three parts. The first is the first three chapters pertains to the church. The message, the angel to the angels of the church. And from then... She disappears right there in the third chapter. See, he says, she disappears, does not appear again until the 19th chapter of the 19th chapter. She returned between, return, okay. Between this time, God's dealing with the Jews. Then from then on, it is between the coming of the great city of Jerusalem and the sealing away of the people of Israel and so forth at the end time. All right. See, clear cut uh, understanding it is. Clear cut. All right. Another quotation. Now begin the fourth chapter. After this I look at behold. Do, sorry, that I already read. Uh, all right. Now. Again I am reading. Christ had left the earth. Then he had gone up into glory. The church age was through showed that his spirit is finished here and he had gone into glory and was calling for John to come up and he showed him what else was going to take place come up either unquote William Branham uh, speaks here he called John because the, the, the church is finished on earth now everything is over now you come up to the heaven this is the heavenly scene this is not the earthly scene, it's a heavenly scene, you know. Revelation chapter 4 is heavenly scene. The throne and, uh, and the 24 elders are sitting and the thunderings and lightnings are proceeding. That is the heavenly scene that the, that the John represents. I tell you, I, I believe John represents the bride of Christ. If, if God, he called John, that means he called the bride just like that. You know, he showed to the John what is still going to take place hereafter. All right. <clears throat> yes. All right. Oh, notice John being taken up immediately after the churches was a type of the raptured church. Yes. What, what I said, that's right. It's a type of the raptured church. That means John is taken up. John is called up into the heaven. He is, is the raptured church. All right. Immediately after the church age is over, this Laodicean church age, then comes the rapture. See, as I told you, it is not the earthly. The, the bride won't be on the earth. Fourth chapter of the, uh, you know, the revelation. That means it says, it speaks like that. It speaks in that manner. Church is, uh, you know, raptured. It is in the heaven. All right. The church goes up like John did. Into the presence of God. Amen. Not to the judgment. The church goes up into the presence of God. Seventh heaven. After the rapture you are directly going to the seventh heaven. You know seventh dimension. Where God is seated on the throne. Directly. Understand. So that is the presence. The bride goes into the presence of God. Oh my. That is 
that just winds my soul around, caught up at the rapture of the church. And it said, the place, the book of Revelation was written, see, at the end of the church age. Oh yes, glory to the name of the Lord. Now notice, oh, he has finished his work on the earth. He is, look at, he, he took his church and now he sends the judgment. Aha. Uh -huh. After he finished everything, now he sends the judgment. The world rejected him. And he sends his judgment. He and his church has gone to glory. John, there, there on the island of Patmos, a revelator to the church has been type of the church which is lifted up into glory. Come up hither. Oh yes, that means it is not John is going, it is the bride is going in the rapture. She is getting into the rapture. So fourth chapter of the revelation is the rapture for the bride. Understand? And the a judgment is set. It is the scene of the judgment where bride cannot come under the judgment. If the bride is in the glory, how can the bride come under the judgment? You tell me. Tell me, Mr. Foolish. All right, now, notice again in the third verse or the second, a throne set in heaven and one sat on the throne. Now, the same spirit that was in the earth had left, you see, and had gone to glory and was sitting. The same Jesus that is with us tonight, his mercy was gone to glory and sitting on the throne and he that sat on the throne was to look upon as jasper and sardine stone and there was a rainbow around about the throne in the sight like unto an emerald that is all revelation chapter 4 i have taken all right now now i i first i read the quotes here now quotation now these elders sitting upon the throne listen carefully these elders sitting upon the throne with these crowns now the fifth verse we are going to start and out of the throne proceeded lightnings thunders voices and there was a seven lamps on the fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of god oh i love this don't you oh i just feel like my Quote fits me, you know, I just, uh, oh, I mean in a spiritual quote, of course, you know, all right, out of the throne, out of the throne, let's speak of this throne now for a few minutes, this was not the throne of mercy, listen, this was not the throne of mercy, mercy's throne is finished, no more mercy, it is without mercy, how are we going? How is the judgment seat going to be the judgment seat of the Christ? The judgment seat, the white throne judgment, is there going to be mercy then? Uh, is there going to be mercy? Then there is not one, one speck of mercy to be given. At the judgment throne you could scream, mercy! till you couldn't scream no more and you just might as well scream out in the air somewhere because there is no mercy my god the, the what brother Branham says see who interpreted the fourth chapter of the revelation who interpreted huh? Mr. Confuse Mr. Confuse who interpreted Mr. Jesse Mr. Jesse Smith who confused Ah, you are confusing. You are confusing the people. That's why people are running away because of you people, you nasty, nasty hypocrite and the kinds of intellectual giants. You people make the people follow message, run away from the message. So you are the cause of these things. But we stand for the message. Now, Brother Branham clearly says there is no more mercy. So you mean to say the bride is uh, under the judgment? Huh? Bride is under the mercy. She received the mercy. She must be under the mercy seat, not under the judgment seat. Oh yes. Sir. Now, is a day of mercy. Now it is go again. I am reading the quote. Now is the day of mercy. Now let's go back in the Old Testament here, just a little bit, and find out what mercy is. Go on back and see what happened to the throne. This throne, of course, is a judgment seat. And the reason today that there is that there is mercy is because the mercy seat is sprinkled with an atonement blood, and as long as and as long as blood is on the judgment seat, then it is not the judgment no more. It is a mercy uh, because uh, something died to stay judgment. 
uh, if you see it say amen as long as blood is on the mercy seat showed that something died to hold judgment back but when the church is raptured the mercy seat become the judgment seat all right all right when the church is raptured then the then it will be the judgment seat all right now all this uh, you know revelation chapter 4 i want another quotation i want you to notice that this was not the throne of grace no more there was the blood had been gone and the sacrifice was back again and there had been accepted and the blood was of the mercy seat and it was now a judgment seat because thunders and lightning issued of it is that right uh remember it was like mount sinai when moses went on the mount sinai what happened thunder lightning and even if the cow or the calf or the sheep of anyone even touched the mountain it must die uh the bible said so great was the quake till even moses feared it yes revelation chapter 4 1964 all these quotations proving that uh, there is no bride in revelation chapter 4 you hypocrite you mr confusion ah huh? you are mr confusion mr jesse smith ha huh? listen carefully all right but at last one quotation i want to read i don't want to go uh, every uh, every uh, quotation i want to dig but you notice in here it was not mercy seat for there was lightnings and thunder and voices there is no lightning and thunder thunders at the mercy that is judgment let's turn to the exodus 19 chapter of exodus and 16th verse exodus 19th chapter of exodus and let's begin with the 16th verse revelation chapter 461 all right all these quotations i am proving you that uh, there is no more mercy revelation chapter 4 you cannot see the bride in that chapter all right you cannot confuse the people all that i read i know i don't want to go bring the audio clips of william branham and prove to you prove to you prove to you and and you know the people like you unbelievers un, unbelievers people do not have the knowledge of the message don't try, don't read and study the message they will be a, uh, they will be a victims under your voice you are the, you are the right voice of the devil admit that admit that even i pray for you come out from those those confusion come out come out from the intellectualism come out oh yes sir. and god and may god bless those people who are listening to this my youtube and the channel you know they, this much i could i can say that that the, the there is no bride church uh, under the fourth seal because the john going up into the heaven is is, is the sign of the rapture you know it's like a model to us is a john it is not a john it's a bride of christ that is what brother banham says yes so bride is raptured bride cannot come under the judgment bride won't be there in the judgment bride won't be there in the tribulation bride will not be there when the israel god is going to use israel bride will not, never be there one anointed uh, prophets will go and carry this message to israel that's all then the bride will be raptured bride won't be there so listen carefully listen carefully so don't make mistake so what brother Branham Adam said that is right he many places brother branham said uh, even the feast of the trumpet also brother branham said even direct message of william branham's uh, uh, revelation chapter 4 also speaks about the whole picture of the heaven you know 24 elders seated there and the lightning and thunders comes out from the throne of god that shows the judgment so all right this much i can uh, i can prove that uh, uh, mr jesse smith is a liar and intellectual giant his uh, uh, his youtubes are really nothing to do with us he cannot prove his dirty doctrine or his intellectual all right may the lord bless you those who are listener those who are watching this youtube may god bless you god bless you